PS17 is your local election headquarters. The polls in Durham are still open for today's primary elections. There are two city council seats up for grabs as well as, well as the mayor seat. And uh, this comes as the city is dealing with a number of problems like gun violence. They have a shortage of police mm -hmm. officers and a shortage of 911 operators. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at the Durham County South Regional Library, one of those polling lo right. locations. Crystal, how has the turnout been so far? Well, the turnout has been pretty steady. We're starting to see more people come in to vote as they're getting off of work. Not seeing any long lines out here. So if you still need to come vote, looks like you'll get in and out pretty quick. There are seven candidates running for mayor in this primary. The two candidates with the most votes tonight will face off in November. Each have different ideas for tackling the problem with gun violence. Some say there needs to be a more aggressive approach to getting those who are behind these shootings off the streets. Others say there needs to be more community policing. And some say sending unarmed responders to mental health calls will help police better focus on violent crime. Others have said that addressing the shortage of police officers and 911 operators in Durham is a top priority. Some pushing for an increase in police officer pay. I talked to some voters today about what the biggest thing is they want to see the next mayor tackle once they get in office. Some say affordable housing. Others say they would like to see a better relationship with the police. We look for somebody that's going to be able to bridge a gap that can that can have the right, they can posture themselves <laughs> the, the right way to, to both parties. Crime is probably needs to be addressed. I would really love to see a mayor who cares a lot for the poor and the underprivileged. We need uh, more affordable housing for lower income people, not just lower income people, but middle income as well. Oh, don't forget, Durham will also be narrowing down the choices for city council seats in Ward 1 and Ward 2. The top two winners of those races will face off in November. We'll be keeping a close eye on those two races tonight as well. And polls close tonight at 7.30. We'll have full coverage of those results tonight at 11. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. All right, Crystal, thanks very much.